What a way to end your week. I'm Kenny Dean. Come on in the house. It's uh, been a gorgeous day. Hey, if you're looking for a, a nice weekend, we're going to have it. I guess a, a nice weekend to wrap up the last weekend of January. Mm, where do the time go? Well, any time I can have my buddy right here, entrepreneur uh, from the Valley, on, it's always a, a, a good night. The one and only, the illustrious potentine himself, Ricky Price. I don't know what's <laughs> what definition of it. Well, we, we, we don't know if we said it show look, uh, show look, look good, good anyway. How you doing, buddy? Man, I, I'm doing good. I always look forward to you coming out here and, and just talking because that's what we do. That's right. Hi, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Uh, I've been, I, I, I say that for pretty much through April Fool's Day. I used to quit I say Merry Christmas 12 months a year. Well, I tell you what. Did y'all have a nice Christmas, you and your family? No. I tried. Had floods. I had a on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. One inch of rain in my basement. Got it cleaned out. Christmas Eve night, three inches. Golly. I jerked my skirt up and screamed like a little girl. <laughs> I just said, cash rope. Wow. It was tough. And y'all ain't been in your house, but. We've been in it two weeks when it happened. Golly bum. But uh, we. we y'all got christened. Pretty good, didn't you? Very, yeah. If that's Did it what ruin you anything? Call it, huh? Did it ruin anything? We we were lucky. The guy that helped me put some stuff in there had it stacked where it didn't. Mm -hmm. I lost a few items, but mm -hmm. nothing real bad. Do you ever remember it raining like that in the Never. valley? I think we in the city of Lynette, we've got four bridges out. Wow. We've, we've got one that they found the damage this week. Mm -mm -mm. And they took it out. Had to close it. Yeah, had okay. to close it and they got to replace it. Completely? Or Completely. I, I think so. You yeah. don't repair no. Bridge, you got to. I think we got nine inches of rain in 12 hours. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of water. That's dangerous. Sure That's real is. dangerous. But no deaths or anything like that? No, not that and I know of. Was there any other damaged homes like yours? I'm sure there. I went to get a sump pump, mm -hmm. sump pump, mm -hmm. and down in Opelika, and they were out. Golly people had already bought them out. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, everybody, a lot of people had problems. Well, I can't think of a, a, a worse thing to especially around Christmas time. I've never seen, I've never had that dealt with anything like that, and it was, I mean, my son got so mad, he just said, the heck with it, let's blow it away. <laughs> Your son, if uh, he get married Yeah, he's getting May. married in May. We're looking forward to that. And, uh, and they're, they're living, they'll be living in the in Auburn, Auburn block, right. so that's still close they're, by. They'll be close mm -hmm. by, that's right. So, uh, but he was at home for Christmas, and he spent the afternoon in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been in a like a, a, another bad uh, storm, like a tornado, a hurricane, or anything? I've, I've seen the aftermath of you know a hurricane down in South Alabama. Went with my dad. Which which, which one was that? Don't give me the line. Oh. It was back in don't back in the eighties. <laughs> I love 80s. that say. Don't give me the line. <laughs> but it was back in the early eighties. Okay. Bob okay. James was a governor. Mm -hmm. Bob James. I ain't heard that name in a while. He was the governor. He mm -hmm. wrote it out in a in a uh, a trailer mm -hmm. down there. But I. But I remember there were fish and all all over the streets of mm -hmm. Mobile where wow. the tide had came up. Yeah. But uh, I tell you what happened one time, and, and uh, we that there's about three places in Lynette that always floods. Mm -hmm. I mean, somebody could cry beside hard. Your house. Yeah, beside my house, somebody could cry hard in a flood in these three areas. <laughs> but one of them is where the city hall is now, mm -hmm. and I was directing traffic one one time there, and the water was above my knees. And the fire truck got a fire call. And when they made the turn where I was directing traffic, the flood, the, the wave knocked me down and knocked me under the water. Well, needless to say, I came up and had a little bit to say to the fire. <laughs> but they didn't hear me. But mm -hmm. anyway, they get over there and one of them gets struck by lightning while yeah. he's fighting that fire. Really? Kidding? And I, uh, no. As a matter of fact, I talked to the him last driving? night. Huh? Was he driving uh, the fire truck? And I told him, I said, you deserved every bit of it. <laughs> On the radio. <laughs> But he's a good friend of mine. We talked last night. Well, I'd be darned. Has he been struck before or Never since? Before or since. Because a lot of time, I mean, I've heard folks have been struck by lightning True. that get struck again. I have. Have I you have. been struck? Never or, have. Or close? Never have. Have you been electrocuted? Yes. 
It ain't a, there's not a worse feeling than that joke. I've never had anything like it. I got I got electrocuted. I worked in the mill, you know, like all of us did when yep. we were young. Mm -hmm. And I got electrocuted with a 550. And I literally <laughs> used the bathroom on myself. <laughs> it, it did. It just knocked it out of me, yeah. I guess. But if it, I guess if it had been a 220, I'd have been still holding on. But yeah. it, was big, mm -hmm. it was enough. It knocked me away. Mm -hmm. But I, I am scared of electricity. Yeah, that, I won't that, change that, the light bulb out. That, that, that's... Uh, but uh, we needed one change. Fun you mentioned it last night, and uh, and Ellen said something about it, and I continued to sit there by the fire and sit there by the fire. And next thing I know, she's in the chair changing. And as I see her changing, I said, "Do me get that?" And no, no, you just you just you just sit there. Tell folks what Ricky Price has done. You you start off because your dad was a policeman. You became a policeman. My dad was state all in the valley, right? a state trooper. Okay. Yeah, and and my brother. I went on as police as a police officer when I was 21 years old mm -hmm. in 1977, and I policed until uh, I was 36. Mm -hmm. and I came to work over here with the law firm of Morris Haynes and Hornsby back right. then, and stayed with them 20 years, and retired and moved back home about two years ago in the valley where mm -hmm. I'm from, and uh, now I'm living that retired life. Are you? Did, have you adjusted to all no. that? I do not like retirement. Mm -hmm. uh, what you gonna do about it? I plan to maybe in a couple of years run for a political office mm -hmm. in Chambers County, mm -hmm. if my health holds up. You know that's the thing about it. But I, I do notice I'm, I, you know, I still I'll always have back, neck, and knee issues, but uh, and diabetes. But I think when I work with a firm, I would drive about thirty five hundred miles every two weeks, mm -hmm. change oil every other Saturday. Mm -hmm. And I think that's helped me to get out of that vehicle mm -hmm. and, you know, walk around and get some exercise. Mm -hmm. and Do you get much exercise now? I, well, I walk three, I walk a mile three times a week. Okay. You know, you. But I have to use a walker because I've got this drop foot from that back injury mm -hmm. and I'll fall in a heartbeat now. So I use a walker, but uh, I try to. You're a recovering alcoholic. I am. And, and Six you, years yesterday. Yeah, I, I, I saw that. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. I, I, I knew since you've been doing this that I remember the five year. That's right. Um, uh, uh, That's the five absolutely. year. And do you do you talk to other guys or gals uh, I've about got, that, that you? I, I've got a couple of people that I talk with every day about it. That's kind of they're my sponsees. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I, anybody that wants to talk to me, I'll talk to them about it because I'm not ashamed of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something that was in my genes, and I fed the crap out of it. Mm -hmm. I like my brother. I'm a third generation alcoholic. Mm -hmm. My brother never fed his genes. Wow. And I mean, he could take a drink today and just walk away from it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I couldn't. And uh, I'm not ashamed of it. You know, I had a lot of uh, issues between the police department and working with a law firm. I mean, you, you think about it, all I did was ro work wrongful death and personal injury mm -hmm. cases. And uh, I had a lot on my mind and still dream about it today. And the doctor says it's post-traumatic stress disorder. You'll never get it. You'll never get that out of your, I don't your mind. What, what well. some I things wake, that you've I, seen? I wake up at night, you know, just sweating, mm -hmm. panting, mm -hmm. screaming, according to my wife. But, I, can't, uh, I can't imagine. But, you know, and it, I, I can't say that it bothered me that much when I did the work. Until did the alcohol help you? It not, did. And that, that's what happened. Years ago, when I was a police officer, I was I get a call to a wreck, and I'm half a block from it. Mm -hmm. And I get there, and the child had been run over, and I knew her, and they coached her brothers in Little League. Mm -hmm. And bless her heart, the little, her foot was above her head, mm -hmm. and she was just in bad shape. And when I got there, she grabbed me. Did she and, know you? Yeah, she called mm -hmm. me Mr. Ricky, please mm -hmm. help me. Please mm -hmm. help me, I'm hurting. And I was holding her, and she died. Oh, my. And uh, I had to get some help for that. But anyway, move forward to 2009, we had a little three-year-old that was a quadriplegic little girl, got hit on her birthday. And uh, we, I was at her house one day, and she had a little dog, and you know she couldn't move anything, blow her neck. Mm -hmm. And the dog came up to her and started licking her on her hand, and she said, you know, I can't pet you, I can't move my arms. And I don't know, when that happened, it just, through me at a tail way. spin. And from November of 09 until, now let me back up now, I always drank. Mm -hmm. You know, I've always drank. Mm -hmm. But from November of 09 
to two, from to January the 26th of 2010, I drank a fifth of vodka every day. Wow. And uh, as I told you earlier, I was sitting at home, and I, the only day I took off work, and I said, I can't go in. Mm -hmm. And I said, I wasn't going to 4 o'clock that afternoon. I jump in a bottle, and I'm sitting there, and I'm watching Kenny Rogers' DVD, and he's singing Water and, Water and Bridges. And uh, I was thinking about my son and, you know, my wife and, and all my family and friends that I had neglected, and uh, I just decided I need some help. Wow. And I went the next day and went to rehab and never looked back. Well, if I ever do get to talk to Kenny Rogers, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to that. Well, I appreciate it for it. I, yeah, I, sure I will. really do. I really <laughs> hey, y'all hang around. Me and my buddy, my friend uh, Ricky Price, we'll be right back. Entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I tell you what, you're talking about getting close to another great holiday, a big holiday, a loving holiday. I'm talking about Valentine's and McKay's Flowers and Gifts and Dable is all ready for you. You know, they're ready for you right now. So if you want to pre-order, go ahead and pre-order. You see the number, 256-825-2890. Your true love sweetheart headquarters, not, not just for flowers, not just for uh, especially roses this time of year, but some uh, teddy bears, uh, uh, cookies, and candles. Oh, boy, smell the love at, you know, LaCay's and uh, Flowers and Gifts in Dayville. Music Depot next to Depot Gun and Pond is the home of the unknown guitar man. But Music Depot is a true music store with a huge selection of Alvarez and Fender Acoustics and Fender Expo System for a great home entertainment sound with a price that will fit your budget. Music Depot has a repair shop to fix just about any guitar problem. If you are a music lover, you're going to love the selection you have to choose from at Music Depot on Highway 280 next to Depot Gun and Pond in Ellick City. Dr. Demo Popov has been practicing internal medicine in Alexander City for nine years. During that time, he started a successful weight loss clinic. His clinic has changed many patients' lives. He offers the popular lipo shots in the weight loss clinic. These injections offer increased energy with vitamin B12 acids to increase metabolism and burn fat. Previous patients can restart the program for only dollars. This includes one shot and one month supply of appetite suppressants. Gift certificates are also available. Call today. The Miranda Assisted Living in Dable is in love with you. You see the Valentine tree here. Love is in the air at the Veranda Assisted Living. Now they are a fully licensed, staffed 24 hours a day, meals and snacks daily. Now assistance with bathing, dressing, medication, private baths. The Veranda is looking for you to fall in love with today. Now for more information, call 256-786-0560. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the Bankruptcy Code. Marsha Mason is pleased to announce the new location of Mason Law Firm at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Marsha Mason is your local attorney for bankruptcy and social security disability. Call your home Marsha Mason at 256-329-1313. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Jackson's Drugs in Alexander City has so much to offer, like the brand new Spirit jerseys, great assortment of picture frames, Alabama and Auburn items. You can get your game on in a heartbeat there. They also have Candleberry candles like Carolina Sugar Cane Mist, Rock Salt Ice Cream, Watermelon Rancher, new pillar candle holders. Then for the bridal registry, they have monogram crosses, framing, and trays. We also have new floral items such as stems, bouquets, and topiaries. Be sure to get your lake items, and don't forget Jackson's Drugs in Alexander City. Ah, oh boy, let's talk weather right now, because it's really going to be a nice weekend. Right now it's 52, but it's going to get a little chilly tonight, 34 for a low. And then your Saturday forecast is really going to be nice. We've been looking uh, forward to one, one of these days. High of 64 tomorrow, low of 42, a lot of sunshine. 
uh, Sunday. High of 66, low of 52, partly cloudy. Let's get into the first day of February. Uh, Tuesday, I'm sorry, Monday, high of 69, low of 56, 40% chance of rain. And Groundhog Day, it's, it's going to just come in here just to flood. So that little old rascal better be uh, watching out or he's uh, liable to uh, drown. And then, of course, we'll uh, kick off the third day of February uh, on a, a good note, high of 52, low of 33. Uh, I want to remind you, uh, uh, this is brought to you by our friends uh, with Alex City Marine right here in Alexander City. So if you're looking for, in fact, I was just by there this week. If you're looking for a 2016 Landau, they have them in, and they are gorgeous. If you don't believe me, you go see them here in Alexander City at Alex City Marine. Oh, boy, uh, Little Big Town is our featured artist. My buddy over here is sweating. He's big Little Big Town uh, fan. Crazy about those girls. I fall out of my chair. <laughs> hey, y'all come on out tonight. I'm looking forward to seeing you folks at Carlos Mexican Grill tonight uh, for the Clyde Eight. Uh, Clyde Eight. Get your golden ticket uh, tonight. Uh, that way you can move on tomorrow night. I'm not sure. Of course, it was at a JR Sports. It was at a Sky Bar last night. So we'll be at um, Carlos Mexican Grill tonight. So come on out for a good, good, good time. Hey, I want to remind you, uh, uh, let's see, uh, did I leave one out? Yeah, uh, the, the pub in Eclectic. I knew we had another one in there. Thanks for throwing that up there, little buddy. The pub in Eclectic tomorrow night. So we got all kind of uh, good things going on with the Clyde 8 Idol. Um, I want to remind you, the Kiwanis Pancakes having their uh, pancake uh, breakfast from 7 to 11. Tickets are $6. Dave Well Elementary Lunchroom, February the 6th. All proceeds go to the local uh, schools. Let's see what else. I've got Lake Martin Event Center at the Rodeo Club. Presents Valentine's 2016, Saturday the 13th, an evening of dance and romance featuring the heartthrobs. All proceeds will benefit Rescue K. 911. It's time to get registered, <clears throat> believe it or not, next week uh, for 2016 Alex City Baseball Softball Registration. Uh, Radney uh, Elementary School, school is where it's going to go on, so make sure you get those children lined up for that. And a 2016 Hudson Family uh, Foundation uh, 50th uh, oh, it's a, a concert, Saturday the 6th at the arena. Uh, at Auburn University, uh, starring Justin Moore, Frankie Ballard, uh, and Montgomery Gentry. Uh, the tickets and sponsor information, contact Tallapoosa County Sheriff's Girls Ranch. Good stuff going on at that location uh, for a good cause. I'm talking about the Tallapoosa County Sheriff's Girls Ranch. There's a few things happening in our community. And we're glad to have you out here on a Friday night with my buddy. He, well, he, you know, he doesn't even have anything to, like a, a napkin or anything to wipe his uh, forehead off, but he does. He has picked up a, a piece of paper. I hope nobody spit in the trash can. <laughs> hey, all I got all over my head. You messed me up a little big time, big dog. You hurt me. You him, or I'm talking about backstage. I have. Stage. I met him one time in, uh, in Atlanta, and mm -hmm. I'll never get over it. Mm -hmm. I'll never get over it. And I'm not sure they will. <laughs> They're entertainers. They are great. They uh, are great. She, that, that blonde haired girl called me a charmer. Mm -hmm. and I told her she only knew. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Lord have mercy, sweet Jesus. You should have done that to me. Your first gr girlfriend, who was it? I don't need to go there. We need to leave all that alone. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, I'm not Catholic, and you're not the Pope. <laughs> we ain't going there, buddy. <laughs> like I asked that same thing to Andy Tucker, and I'm thinking, Kenny, some things you just don't ask. That's true. He said, well, I, I, I loved them all. 
I love Andrew's answer. That's good. Even one of them, of course, he'll be out here. Andy Tucker and Wade Jones will be out here. Well, on I saw Monday him a while ago. He's, he's a good one. Wide open. That brings me up. I want to congratulate Mr. Mosley for catching the people breaking into his barn yep. yesterday. Mm -hmm. They had just left Andy's mm -hmm. when he caught them. This is getting to be more and more a problem, theft. Uh, and, you know, I don't like a thief. You I don't, don't like a thief. And y'all have something going on in the uh, uh, the valley right now. T t t t what you, know, you we're having, that? We're having people breaking into people's cars in the daytime. Mm -hmm. We're having, uh, you know, down in Beulah, right outside, you know, we had the robbery last week where they killed the guy and he mm -hmm. shot one of them. Mm -hmm. There were three people. Went Was in this a home, home or a business? Yeah, went in his home, old 85-year-old uh, man and his wife. And and they killed him, and mm -hmm. he, was, he actually shot one of them, put him in the hospital so they found out who it was. One person? Three. Three of them. I think maybe one from Opelika and two from Columbus, Georgia. We're having a lot of people, I think, from Columbus coming over doing mm -hmm. it. And I, I don't know where y'all get the people from, but... Uh, I don't need to be honest with you. But I'm, you know, and I've got a, an interview tomorrow with an attorney there in the Valley, and, and I got a question. I want to know about this stand your ground law. Yeah. I, I'm not that familiar with it, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, Somebody breaking into your house or stealing your stuff after you worked your butt off for it. I think an undertaker needs to wipe their butt that night. I'm just sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. Well, it, it seems like we're, we're heading that way. You mentioned the Wild West days. It looks like it's heading that way, and I don't know if that's a bad thing, Rick. You know, I'm not, I'm not big into the NRA at all. Mm -hmm. I believe in the Second Amendment. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I'm not the kind that carries a gun on my hip, I did it long enough being a police officer. If and I think if you have an issue with somebody, the element of surprise is ninety percent of the issue. Right. And if I've got a gun or whether I don't, it's nobody's business. Right. I, you know, I, I believe in conceal. But in the valley, they've got a couple of gun, gun clubs, and they just carry them like they're in the wild west. Carry them on the hip. Because they can. Because they can. Okay. And I, they can hear. Mm -hmm. You know, the yeah. state of Alabama law, yeah. now, I don't think they choose to do it here like they do down there. But, uh, you know, I, the only problem I've got with that, I, I, I know an individual that goes to the same place every morning at a restaurant, and if somebody cases that restaurant, mm -hmm. they know he's sitting there with a gun. Mm -hmm. They're going to get him before they even go to the cash register. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you run into an issue like that and you can, can surprise somebody, you know, you'd be a lot more effective than, you know, getting the back of your head blown off because they know you're armed. And That's I, just my feeling. Well, and I think, uh, and you know this being involved in uh, over the years, I think that has changed over the years. It, it used to be if I shoot somebody at, in my house or outside my house, I've got to pull them on inside I've always heard to make that. it legal. That's what I, I think believe. now that's changed. Isn't I understand that right? it is. Okay. I'll know more about it tomorrow. I don't know, but I'm going to learn that law. Mm-hmm. Because uh, is this know, like an open forum, or is this somebody you're sitting down with? I've got a uh, the TV show in the morning, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, our state representative is going to be our guest, who's also a defense lawyer, mm -hmm. and I told him to research that, and make sure he was up on it. Because there's enough break-ins and all in the valley, I think it needs to be addressed on what people can do legally. It's always, uh, you know, we, we've had that going on forever, and it will always go on. But if you start Kind of taking care, and, and I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to say, same yeah, way. Let's, let's know, it's uh, a thin start line. war. Yeah, you, you're right, it is. But, you know, you got to protect your stuff, and, uh, and, and you know, people need to stop stealing. <laughs> They've always I, stolen, but now yeah. they're 90% of the time they're armed. They think they can get away with it. What do you do with me if, if you catch me? Uh, it's a, it, 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 it is an issue. It's a, it's a growing issue. And, and I think uh, uh, folks are, are, are they're fed up. They're, they're fed, fed up, up with, it. with it. Time to do something. It's time to take a break. Absolutely. Me and my buddy Ricky, uh, uh, the entrepreneur of Price, will be right back. Flowers in Alexander City on Hillaby Street has been making people happy. Customized shower systems. Make sure you pick up your heavy duty and well insulated K2 coolers. Southern Pipe and Supplies, located on Dable Road in Alexander City. Call 256 234 4235.
Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Sublett, formerly with Cardiology of Central Alabama. Residents of Alex City and surrounding areas now have access to UAB Medicine's world-class cardiac care close to home. I have teamed up with UAB to create the UAB Heart and Vascular Clinic of Central Alabama, conveniently located in the Russell Medical Center and offering the full spectrum of cardiovascular care. Board certified in interventional cardiology, I am committed to helping our patients enjoy full and active lifestyles. Call us today for an appointment. For over 30 years, Tallapoosa Ford has been your family-owned auto dealer for hot trucks and SUVs. Now they're raising the bar even higher. The Ford F-150 has been the best-selling truck in America for the last 38 years. And the hot new 15s are hitting the scene, and Tallapoosa Ford and Ford trucks are number one for a reason. America's best truck, combined with our award-winning service department for the region's best warranty work and great maintenance and service. Hello, this is Jeff with Tallapoosa Ford. Ford trucks have led America's truck sales. Come by today and get your best deal on America's best truck. We don't want all the business, just the opportunity to earn yours. Is there a funeral home that I can afford? One that will respect my wishes and make me feel like nothing was sacrificed? You don't have to spend more to get more. Alabama Funeral Homes and Cremation Centers serving the area since 1967. We are steel, German-engineered chainsaws and landscape products. The majority of which are made here in America by Americans. And exported to over 90 countries around the world. This changes every Every week, uh, they have a 65% off uh, rack. Children's clothes, 65% off. They've got some items in there that we're not even showing right. Uh, you buy one, you get one free. So you've got to, you've got to go in there and find out what Lisa uh, has next. Uh, not, not tonight, uh, uh, tomorrow. Carlisle, downtown, Alexander City. on this Friday night with my buddy uh, Ricky Price. He's still over here sweating every time. Uh, mm. You may not want to put that picture up anymore there, Daniel Bess. It's, uh, I don't think it's I starting, to, starting to bother him uh, right now. Hey, uh, Benny Bailey. Do you know Benny Bailey by any chance? I know that name. All right. he, he's been around here forever. I was just thinking about this because I've told this uh. story. I don't know how many times. He was uh, uh, on the show uh, a few weeks ago. Maybe it, was, maybe it was last week. I can't even uh, remember. But Benny's in chair now. Mm -hmm. Benny's uh, had some health yeah, uh, issues, yeah. uh, but he, he was talking about he had a GTO, and it was a fast GTO. Now, way back when, they may still, still do it these days, they used to drag race down on Coley Creek Road. Uh, they had a quarter mile uh, strip, but he said uh, he, you know, he dragged down there a lot of time, but he was the flagman one night, and a couple of guys, one of them had a 54 uh, Chevrolet or 54 Ford and a Corvair. Well, you know how you know how slow Corvair is. <laughs> Had to be pushed. He said. He said when I dropped the flag, he said I drank a six pack of beer before they made it to the finish line. <laughs> That's funny. But I have thought that about that funny. and laughed about that. But a Corvair, a uh, Corvair. you know, they had the uh, engine in the back. The yeah, Corvair. like the Volkswagen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure it had is. the engine, engine in the back and kind of a kind of a flat type of uh, a car. Uh, I don't think they were out many years. Right, uh, right. They were a Chevrolet product. I think you right. right. General Motors product, yeah, Chevrolet, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they sure were. I asked this. To, I remember they were ugly. The bottom oh, of yeah. my foot. They were uh, ugly. That and uh, uh, Chevelle, I mean, a uh, Chevette, a uh, Pinto. Yeah. I, we, we had a Pinto one time. Gremlin. Gr Gremlin. I saw a Gremlin uptown the other day, and it looks like a, a, a Gremlin. I'm talking about a, 
uh, the little monster. Was well, somebody Grimm. pulling it, or it was just sitting there? It was old, old, old Tim Kennedy's place uh, up there. Right. It was sitting there. I, th I think that was a. I think that was a, a Gremlin. Yeah, I, I don't know if I've ever asked you what your first vehicle was. Mine well, was an LTD with a 429 in it, 69 Ooh. LTD. Wow. The best car I've owned was a 78 Mercury Cougar, mm -hmm. and I put a 460 Police Interceptor in it. Wow. And it was a bad dog. Wow. It was a pretty car. Cool. What Jet color black. was it? Black Jet on black, black on mm -hmm. black. Was it, uh, did it have the vinyl top? Yeah, half vinyl. Ha yeah, half yeah, vinyl. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Vinyl. Those vinyl tops were, I, I don't think I ever remember a vinyl top that, that was, you know, pretty to start with, and then they get water up on they get to the bubbling, they rust. Oh, it I was, kept that oil on mine. It mm -hmm. shined all the time. I had the vinyl top. I, somebody told me maybe they had a den in the roof, and they just put that on to cover it or something. <laughs> I don't know how they invented it. They don't make them anymore, do they? I've not seen anything with a vinyl I uh, on it, and I don't, I don't know when. Uh, but golly, that, those uh, uh, 460, was it automatic? It was. It mm -hmm. was. Now, I had a friend that had a 460 put a four-speed in it. Wow. W were you a mechanic, or are you no, a mechanic? No, okay, no, no, okay. no, 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 You no. had somebody. I don't change the light bulb. Yeah, uh, that, that's uh, me. I... Uh, no, but I had a buddy that was, and. And what it was, we went to that, you know, that old sale they have down at uh, State Trooper Post where they sell all old cars. Uh, yeah, I, I knew you. And I bought a car for like $200. Mm -hmm. And we took the motor out, the guy rebuilt it, and I put it in my Cougar, and it would fly. The uh, city used to have uh, sales like that, too. And Wilma Dean, uh, was, it, it, this was a 63 Chevrolet station wagon red. It was uh, a three-speed. It was one that the fire department had I for gotcha. years. He bought it for a hundred and one dollars. He was high bid. I called it the one oh one. One oh one. We'll be right back. <laughs> I put her out. The way that she's pulling you in. Lord knows I've tried. In downtown Dayville, Alabama, it's where you'll find Payne's furniture for rocking good times. Got friends coming over for dinner? Well, we got the table set. Every child dreams of having their own bunk bed. Make their dreams come true today. You'll love this couch and love seat, along with a huge selection of throw rugs with prices to fit your budget. Put your feet up, make yourself comfortable. We'll see you at Payne Furniture in downtown Dayton. Looking for the area's best one-stop shop? Foshi's Watts is where to go. Foshi's Watts has non-ethanol gas for you boaters and you lawn care guys. Although cutting the grass is less fun than going to the lake, you can also get live bait and tackle, cold beverages, and they have fresh biscuits starting at 5 a.m. and the best candy prices in town. You can even fill your propane tank and get a bag of everybody's favorite pellet ice for only $1.50. Get it all at Foshi's Watts on Daveville Road in Alex City, the area's best one-stop shop. Right now, Jacob is only thinking about this game. He's not thinking about the clavicle injury he sustained last football season or the subsequent surgery and weeks of physical therapy. He's back in the game. With three orthopedic surgeons and a department dedicated to physical therapy, rehabilitation, and sports medicine, Russell Medical Center gets you back in the game for another winning Wildcat season. Orthopedic Medicine at Russell Medical Center. At Sarah Nissan of Sylacauga, start the new year off right in the new Nissan of your choice. If you want a great price, it has to be Sarah. Buy a new Sentra, $15,995. A new Ultima, $17,995. Or a new Rogue, $18,995. Plus, every new Nissan comes with Sarah Nissan's lifetime warranty. Only at Sarah Nissan of Sylacauga. When it's time to go gift shopping, think of Jackson's Drugs on Cherokee Road in Alexander City. The Antique Mall of Memories, where every item is a memory. Now, that's, of course, you're reading that there. But the, the big thing that Diane Forbes has up there now is not so much antiques, but really, really neat items. Now, you need to just go in there and see for yourself tomorrow. Put that on your things to do list, and also for you dog lovers, which is right next door, her daughter. Uh, on, that's 280, right next to uh, Satterfield, between Satterfield and Home uh, Depot. Uh, her, if, if you're needing a dog that needs grooming, if you need a dog that needs uh, boarding, uh, bed, bath, and bark on, uh, put that number down. 
Because that may be somebody you need to get in touch with because a lot of folks are finding out about Jamie uh, and the good work that she does. And especially uh, uh, the put a, put your dog up for a while. 256-76-1374. Little Big Towns, our featured artist on this Friday night, my buddy from the Valley, uh, Ricky Price out here. What harmony they had, too. I mean, they're, they're a good-looking uh, foursome, but they're, they're the, the harmony uh, they they still have and always have. Now, didn't the black-headed guy, didn't he have throat surgery about four or five months ago? I, I'm not sure. I think he did and, not... and didn't tour for about, well, it may have been about, Nine months ago, he did two for like six months. Okay, but he's I doing... think he's back now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When 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 one of them goes down, I, I wonder if that messes them up or if, or if they're singing for that part not to be there. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know the way they sing. I don't see how they're going with that. <laughs> I mean, really, because yeah. they're yeah, they're unique. They really are. You and I are both Alabama fans. We've we not are. talked since uh, the national championship. The whole time. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky said that. Uh, you know, and, and this is the, the truth. Uh, great game, as you well know. Uh, both teams uh, shouldn't walk, uh, shouldn't have walked off uh, the field with their heads down. A big uh, 2016 is going to be, should be a big year for both of them. But Ricky said he said he was really nervous the first time he watched the replay. He said he wasn't as nervous the third and fourth. Time. That's right. That's exactly <laughs> right. That was a good ball game. Yeah, it was. And and I'm gonna tell you now. Auburn needs to be practicing now because they got to play Clemson first game of the mm -hmm. year. That first game, Ooh. you've got a, a Clemson at Auburn down on the plains. Alabama plays Southern Cal. Oh, and this is Labor Day weekend. Uh, Ole Miss plays Florida State uh, in Florida on Monday night. So what a weekend. A, I'm ready for it to come on. Are you a Braves fan? Is Bra no, I don't, the, the I don't, baseball, you no. just, after football? I used to love the Braves and I love the Cowboys, but. All I watch is college football now, mm -hmm. and when they leave the capstone, I don't know where they go. I think I saw a stat this year that Alabama had won as many games as uh, Dallas had uh, in, in, that on their stadium field, in their stadium year. this year. Yes, sure it is. I love but, it. But, you know, Dallas Cowboys, uh, in their days, for, for, for decades, they were the team. I went to see them when Don Meredith played as quarterback. Andy Don, them. wow. Yes, sir. I loved him as a Monday night announcer I did too. with Howard Cosell. And then I went to see, I've been to two pro games, both of them Dallas. One of them, Don Mary, the quarterback, mm -hmm. and the other one, Roger Staubach was quarterback. Wow. And that's years ago. Yeah, but and two. two. They were good ones. Don, of course, we've lost Don Mary <clears throat> uh, yeah. a few few years the ago. The beauty of Leroy Jordan played. Wow. Oh, Alabama boy. Yeah. Sure. Uh, now, I, now, didn't he marry... Some people from Medic City, yeah, uh, Banks. Uh, okay, I, I think I think that's right. I think it came to Ricky Robinson. Yeah, uh huh. In fact, it's Ricky's wife, Leba, her brother Petrie. I'm sorry, okay. Petrie. Petrie. Okay. Uh, 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 but yeah, that was uh, they live out. I don't say California, uh, D Dallas. I think they do or, too. Or or right. Texas. Texas is a big old state. Just like we got some big old sponsors right here that we show do appreciate on this Friday night edition. Of at home with Kenny Dean. We got changes coming too. Hang around. Seven nine four four three four one. They've been keeping us warm during the winter months and cool during the summer months for many, many years. I appreciate the Kazayas, especially that Daryl Kazaya. Easy folks to deal with, and you're gonna like them, especially when you're cold and you need to be warm. That's Arctic air and heat. If your New Year's resolution is to stop walking and start riding, then resolve yourself to run to Lake Martin Truck and Auto on Old Dadeville Road. Lake Martin Truck and Auto is the bank, and you don't need to worry about past credit, getting your tax money, or finding the ride that suits you. Because Lake Martin Truck and Auto has the lowest down payments and monthly payments in the area with the best selection. Don't let the Slick City dealer take all that tax money or hassle you with credit. Lake Martin Truck and Auto, Old Dadeville Road in Alex City.
Dr. Demo Popov has been practicing internal medicine in Alexander City for nine years. During that time, he started a successful weight loss clinic. His clinic has changed many patients' lives. He offers the popular lipo shots in the weight loss clinic. These injections offer increased energy with vitamin B12 and amino acids to increase metabolism and burn fat. Previous patients can restart the program for only $55. This includes one shot and one month supply of appetite suppressants. Gift certificates are also available. Call today. Rodeo Club, uh, County Road 34, they're getting ready for another big event, uh, a Lake Martin Event Center at the Rodeo Club presents Valentine 2016, an evening of dance and romance. Please make sure that you check out those sponsors there. and Thank you, sponsors, for helping with this. Again, uh, benefiting Rescue K911. <laughs> hey, we were just talking about our friend Jerry Whitstone, which we, we've known for years. And the K911 made me think about because he's worked with canines All with the clear, police department. Guess, yeah. Oh, uh, and we're, we're showing where uh, Facebook <laughs> Facebook said he was retired. And me and uh, my buddy right here, Rick Price, said if Facebook said it, it's, it's got to be true. It's true. But exactly. if, if it is true, congratulations. Right. And if it's not true, I congratulate him anyway, because yeah. I did. He'd been there a long, he long sure time. He sure I'm proud that he's able to retire. And, he and, and I worked some dope cases 30 years ago. Wow. Sure did. With, with dogs. Yeah. With, well, yeah. Well, as a matter of fact, he was our undercover on some buys down in Lynette. Well, I'll be done. He looked pretty rough and came down there and got some pretty big dealers. He did a heck of a job for us. That is a dangerous job. Yeah, I say this. I, I thank God for it every day, though, because yeah. it burned me out so bad. Mm -hmm. Once I left the police department, mm -hmm. I never looked back. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people can't get out of the blood, but I do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like a truck driver. <clears throat> That's right. My brother's been a truck driver for, he's 72, three years old, still goes, drives. Charles, who loves your baby, Dean, 3,000 <laughs> miles a week, two trips a week to Houston. I have a dog on. And 72, 73 years old. Still does. Uh, yeah, but it's in his blood. You know, I've always uh, thought about game wardens. I still call them game wardens. Right. I know they call something else now. Right. That's a dangerous. I it used to be very, job. very dangerous, and I never really knew, never thought so much about it till later on. I wouldn't work in a convenience store. You know, oh, as a no. cashier? Uh, yeah. Mm. That's the most dangerous job mm -hmm. in the world to me. And uh, a lot of time, well, I say a lot of time, give them what they want. It's not worth your life. But still, just, you know, to me, it'd be hard to be pleasant all the time. Hey, how y'all doing tonight? Yeah. Oh, I mean, you know, because some of the, you don't have to be a shady looking character. No. Uh, you may be the best dressed person in the world. I'll tell you what happened one time, and I think the lady may have won some money on it. Uh, there was a chain store in the valley mm -hmm. got robbed. Mm -hmm. They had Three cameras. So I said, we'll get these folks. Every camera was facing the cash register where her hands were. Mm -hmm. They were more worried about her stealing than they were the people coming well, in I'll to rob her. Darned. And you could see their hand go across and hit her in the head with a gun. That's all they... And, and they beat her. But I, you couldn't see it. it was all, and and I, I think she pursued that with a legal matter because she thought she was protected with the cameras. Wow. And there, every camera was on her hands. Speaking of hands, what kind of notes you got on your hand? That's my palm pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, learned, I, I just know that it. I work Rex and I'll have rope all up and down my arm. <laughs> you, you don't lose it. I, go, I get out. It's something I saw a minute ago on Facebook. Uh -huh. I knew it was true, so I uh -huh. got to write down and get out. <laughs> then I go wash my hands. It's funny you say that because coming up with uh, Mr. Wimmer Dean at Dean Motor Company, he, he made many a deal. All right. 800 and you're going to give me a 200 damn $25 a week. Wim Dean loved for folks to pay him $25 a week. Oh, and he know. had a bunch of them. Yes, sir. Uh, $25 a week. Cause, but that was different times. That well, was that's still times. money coming in every week. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It sure is. Now, Wim Dean a lot of time on his off days, which was Saturday afternoon, 
He spent the uh, afternoon driving the roads or, or, or going by and collecting money. Collecting you know, money. people get behind. He, a lot of time he'd go on a wrecker uh, to, to pick them up. Right. Uh, he's gone uh, before. Uh, they'd have a dog tied to it. Uh, and he'd, he'd tell them, if you don't want that dog to go with me, you better untie because I'm fixing a, a hook up. About to drag last down he, the road. <laughs> but even now, the, the times have changed, laws have changed. Where if you're representing, you just can't go in anybody's yard and do that anymore. I don't Is know that, what the I know I don't know what the rules are, but I know a lot of wreckers. You see them out at night, easing around. I guess they've oh, got yeah. paperwork. Yeah, yeah. They'll take it by the police department. Mm -hmm. They'll go pick it up, mm -hmm. and I think they can jerk one up about thirty seconds now and be gone. Yeah, now with the rollbacks, yeah, they they make it real. A uh, real uh, dad had a, a big wrecker and a little wrecker for whatever size of uh, uh, wreckage going. And you know you had the cables. You had to pull the cables. Oh, yeah. Had to get under there with and the big old hook. And it's not quiet. No, <laughs> nothing. By the time quiet. you get the first cable pull, you got a gun on you. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. Big time difference. But the rollbacks they have now, uh, you can pull right up and pull them right up, and you're you're yeah, you're gone. Right. They're they're hooked, hunkered down, and uh, uh, it's it's uh, it's showtime. That's and those right. let me tell you something. Those rollbacks that you see these guys and uh, that have. They're very expensive, uh, and, and uh, sure. liability insurance that they have. So, whatever they charge you, uh, you know that's just that's just part part of it. Like it's part of it to take a break right now. This may be our last one. I don't know. I'm I'm so confused. We'll be right back. Downtown body shop. I was just by there this week talking to Eddie Todd and Tanya and JT and good uh, folks. I, 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 you're right. Just, good just folks. really good folks. And uh, I, 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 whether they're advertising with us or not, I will always promote downtown body shop because I believe in them. Of course, they're in the truck and Jeep accessories now, really doing well uh, with it. So if you're looking for Jeep and truck accessories, even for Valentine's, I'd say go by and see, uh, check out that showroom floor. Uh, introduce yourself to, uh, to Koo Eddie Todd, downtown body shop, airport drive. Southern Head and Neck Surgery offers the very latest in hearing aid technology. Best Sound Technology uses directional microphones to make your hearing aid more comfortable in noisy environments. Acoustic Fingerprint Technology gets rid of feedback and that annoying whistle. And our new Open Fit models are more comfortable, less noticeable, and sound better. A three-year warranty comes standard on all hearing aids, along with continued service at no charge after the warranty expires. Dr. McLeod and his staff are ready to serve you at Southern Head and Neck Surgery in Alex City. Our caring staff at Bass Funeral Home stands ready to serve you in your hardest of times. Bass Funeral Home is family owned and operated and has been for almost 30 years. Come in and speak with their compassionate staff about funeral arrangements. Every goodbye is different, so they offer a variety of pre-arrangement and cremation packages available at competitive and reasonable pricing. Bass Funeral Home also has the largest chapel in Tallapoosa County. Let us help you plan a funeral that reflects the life of your loved one. Lake Martin Garage towing, tires, and muffler. Now they also do auto repair, have new and used tires, auto lockout service, 24 hour wrecker service. Let me give you this number right now. Put it down 256 825 6139. 256 825 6139. Also, they will beat competitors' price guaranteed. Lake Martin Garage 256 825 6139. Forbes Auto Sales Highway 280 in Kellerton, Alabama is a whole lot more than what you're looking at. I love the car lot because Robert is always going to the sale and changing up his inventory. Y'all come on inside and let's go to the shop. Oh, they got a shop and they work on 
just about anything. Cars, trucks, vans, your cars, trucks, and vans. How about tires? You didn't even know they had tires? Yes, sir. That's Forbes Auto Sales, Highway 280 in Callaton, Alabama. Carlisle, downtown Alexander City, where tomorrow is going to be a gorgeous day. Tomorrow will be a great day to take your family to Carlisle, to the soda fountain, uh, to have a, a chicken salad sandwich, to have an egg salad sandwich, to have a tuna, to have a cheeseburger, a hamburger, a hot dog, uh, or, or just if you just want to just sit down in a soda fountain and have a real chocolate milkshake, there it is. Carlisle, downtown Alexander City. Well, Little Big Town has been our featured artist on this Friday night because I knew my buddy uh, <clears> wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't make you mad if we hit them. I'm not sure I can drive home. I may have to find somebody to drive me. <laughs> <laughs> I always enjoy you coming out here because we, 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 we run out of time, not things to talk about. We, we wouldn't run out of time. And I had something I was going to talk about before we went on commercial break. I don't remember what it was. Now, where did you get your rabbit with horns? I don't that's, know if they can that, see it that, up there that, that's, a, that's a jackalope. That's a I, jackalope. I bet it'd tear up a car, too, if you hit it, wouldn't it? Well, uh, not, that, that, the only place uh, you can find those is Las Cruces, New Mexico. Las Cruces, yeah. New Mexico. Uh, that, in fact, that's where I, I killed that one. <laughs> Can't you come on more crap or run <laughs> a A few folks I have been able to reel in, and I've got a story. I don't lie, but when I tell this <laughs> lie, it feels so good to tell it. Maggie Dean, my 24-year-old daughter, I heard the story a while back, and she didn't. I reeled her in. They kept the, the, the camera on her, uh, and, and to this day, I won't tell her any different. <laughs> oh, she thinks, she thinks it's real. She thinks it's real. Well, I took a picture of it a while ago. I'm going to tell somebody I saw it. So You, you make up a lie. I too. hate a deer, buddy. Hey, uh, I put that on, put that on Facebook, because if it's on Facebook, it's yeah. got to be true. That's true. That's true. As always. I Enjoy it, Bo. Good to see Rick. you, Kenny. My buddy, Ricky Price. Y'all have a great weekend. It's have a great be a, weekend. Yeah, be careful. Darn right. Last uh, uh, weekend of January, then we're going to start off February, uh, and then Groundhog Day. Mm, I love Groundhog Day. And if I hadn't told y'all lately, I love y'all. We'll see you back out here next week with Andy Tucker. Ray Jones, Monday night. Kenny. Oh, you're gonna love